Please welcome the very lovely Paula Marshall. Paula Marshall. <laughs> You look sensational. I love your boots, by the way. Thanks. Very, very nice. Nice Neiman, and wintry. Neiman Marcus. Well, you know, there was a girl on the show the other day, and it looked like it was 80 degrees out. It was like 37 when I woke up yesterday, so I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah, no, it's it, it's working. It, it's it all kind of, yeah, you get that cosy, and you're rubbing your legs. You look everything. nervous. I am nervous, yeah. You put, you put a woman in a pair of boots, I just I come apart. I know, they're good. <laughs> and, and by the way, Howie, like, I don't think he has a germ problem, but we totally made out backstage. I mean, like, I think he's full of crap, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe just to sell the book, which you should buy. I'm sure it's, it's great. It, so. No, it's no, it's real. Is it? Yeah, no, well, it's, it's a very dangerous condition he suffers from. It's a cleanly Canadian thing. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. You don't have any of that yourself? Do you just, like, roll I, around in muck I, and I stuff? don't mind. I mean, I, I, do, uh, I do clean things with the... Purell. Do you do? Oh, I've I got do. some left over from home. I Look, do. I got, I got. But I like of it. the, I like the oh. expensive, uh, stinky kind that you get at Whole Foods. That, yeah, my makeup artist has. It's like EO or something. It's really. You have it your own makeup artist. I do. She's backstage, Cheryl. You think I look like this? <laughs> I look good. I look. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, good for you. Where are you from? Huh, I'm from Rockville, Maryland. Where McGruff, the crime dog, by the way, is from there. I know. Has anyone ever heard of that? Yes, McGruff I have. Crime McGruff dog. the crime. Does he solve crimes or commit them? He's just a commercial. He's a guy in a commercial. Right. And and that's all I know about Rockville. Except you're not supposed to go back. That REM told me. And I don't really go back. Hardly ever. Do you still have family there? I uh, yeah. My sisters are there. My brothers in Virginia. Well, wouldn't they be upset that if you're like you know you're kind of trash talking Rockville right I know, I now? I kind of am. Know? Yeah. Kinda, you go back there. The Rockville Civic. I know. Pride I know. will be well, damaged. My my high school went went under. And so now there's went like under no, what? you know, went underwater. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> it's, it turned into another school, so it's not there. So I always thought, oh gosh, when I finally make it big, I'll go back to like wait, my wait, homecoming wait, game. Well, wait, it's not there wait, anymore. Wait, so wait, it's awful. you went to an underwater high school? I did. School? I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. You yeah. scuba dive? Look how well. The... That's why I'm so pale. I never saw the sun. Look at that. See? No, yeah, you're not Craig. that pale. I'm a little pale. Really? Yeah, not as pale as all your your girls in Glasgow. I was there. My husband did a movie there, and my gosh. What, the girls in Glasgow are pale? Very pale. No, no. There's not a lot of sun there. No, there's not a lot of sun there's in Glasgow, sun. but the good thing is when, you know, when you take uh, your clothes off, there's yes. no unsightly lines. That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's just but smooth. It's smooth, and, yeah. and it's very reflective. It's like, like, you can, it, yeah. it's like having sex with a ghost. It will. <laughs> Ask my husband. Really? Yeah, very pale. My, very do you think pale. I could go up to your husband and say, what's it like having sex with your like wife? Like a ghost. Very I pale. Think he might, I think he might be offended. He might be. He might punch me in the jaw. He might. Yeah. He might. Where did you meet your husband? I met my husband uh, on a movie set. And then we ended up doing a TV show um, called Snoops. It was David Kelly's first big bomb, which... You know, I love being part of that. Uh -huh. uh, but thanks to that show, I fell in love with Danny Nucci. Oh. And we have a beautiful little girl named Maya. And uh, that's the end of the story. No, it's not the end of the it's story. the beginning of the story? Yes, and they lived happily ever after. And hmm. what do you do together? Do you go surfing? Do you go to underwater schools? We, Are you going to send your own daughter to an no, underwater I'm not. school? No, we actually watch football. That's, I think, why he fell in love with me. That and because I drive a nice car. A Porsche. Um, uh, I think you mean a Ford. Well, I have a Ford. You know, it's funny. I actually have a Ford Escape. Uh, a Excellent hybrid, product. A hybrid, because I felt so guilty. You know, when the, the gas prices went up, it was crazy. Yeah. So I was like, I have so a Porsche. So you bought another car? I bought well, I have actually, have, I did. I know. Because I have this Porsche in the garage. And I was like, you know, so you get, what, 12 miles to the gallon? So, I, don't, I wouldn't gosh, know. So I little. work here. Okay. <laughs> but I did. I bought a Ford. I love buying American. And so I, I now, I think, maybe get like 27 miles to the gallon. It's bright green. My, actually, my director, Jimmy Burroughs, the king of sitcom directing, he hates my color. Every time we park next to each other, he always gives me grief about it because it's so ugly next to his, like, you know, Beamer or Mercedes or something. Yeah, that must be awful. It's, an, it's a yeah. big, it's a, it's a bright colored car. Uh, so people can see it, because, like, I want to be safe. So yes. I have a Ford and a Porsche. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's good Thanks. to know that the recession's over. Thanks, I know. <laughs> Very lovely Paula Marshall, everybody. We'll be right back.
welcome the first female president of Harvard University, Mrs. Lady. Hello. <laughs> I want her to... <laughs> such an esteemed intellectual on the show. <laughs> <laughs>